Guten Tag, ladies and gentlemen, WB to the CC, 2. We last saw Clarence about to go face to face with a giant rock monster with an anus for a face. Let's see how that plays out, shall we? Not so well as it turns out, Clarence was crushed and swept away. Clarence had been having a bit of a tough time with this boss. He was out of practice, and out of shape. He had spent the last four months diddling, and nothing else. That is of course until Clarence got good, and shot the anus giant with his magic spell a whole bunch, yup. Clarence was really killing the shit, out of this thing, that he had randomly stumbled across in a cave. Clarence was victorious, once again like the good old days. Him again. But no sooner had Clarence found some peace, that, little bitch, we saw back in episode 1, was there dropped in Clarence's way. Who is this guy? Clarence was executed by somebody who I'm sure, we'll meet again. See? I told you we'd meet again. Needless to say, this guy almost broke Clarence's spirit. His will to live on was dwindling. Plus, he cheated, pulling new moves out of his ass, whenever he felt like it. No, nothing is impossible. What am I waiting for? Thought Clarence. After consulting the motivation wizard, Clarence discovered that a certain cat had tricked him into making his life harder than it should be. That was much easier. It was still pretty hard though. Check out this dope dodging Clarence pulled off. He was finally getting good. Oh my God. But not quite good enough. Almost though. Fuck you. Fucking 
little bitch. We all knew this was the one, because the fight starts from the beginning, and is sped up a bit. After a very long time of fighting, this floating knight, Clarence was finally victorious. And was immediately ambushed by initiates of the skeleton war. That's all the time we have, folks. Join us next time, to do the same thing as this time. For a few seconds.